Hi guys, welcome to Tune Basics, the series that teaches you how to play the basics. Today, we'll be revisiting how to play Amazing Grace on the tin whistle. Now, you may have noticed that I've already made a lesson on how to play the song on the tin whistle, but I actually made that tutorial in the wrong key. Now, that tutorial still works, but today's lesson will be in the actual key of C. So let's jump straight into it. Here is a penny whistle. This penny whistle is in the key of C. But don't worry if yours isn't in the key of C, because for this lesson, it is the finger holes that are important. When holding your penny whistle, remember that your left hand is positioned closest to your mouth and uses fingers 1, 2, and 3 to cover holes 1, 2, and 3. The right hand is positioned so that fingers 4, 5, and 6 can cover holes 4, 5, and 6. For these lessons, when you see a blue arrow pointing into the mouthpiece, this means blow gently enough to still produce notes. When you see a red arrow pointing into the mouthpiece, this means blow a bit harder to produce a higher note. So let's get straight into it. Let's take a closer look at phrase one. Cover holes one to two with fingers one to two and blow gently once. Cover holes one to six with fingers one to six and blow a bit harder once. Cover holes one to four with fingers one to four and blow a bit harder once. Cover holes one to six with fingers one to six and blow a bit harder once. Cover holes one to four with fingers one to four and blow a bit harder once. And practice this until you end up with something that sounds like this. For phrase two, cover holes one to five with fingers one to five and blow a bit harder once. Cover holes one to six with fingers one to six and blow a bit harder once. Cover hole one with finger one and blow gently once. Cover holes one to two with fingers one to two and blow gently once. And practice this until you end up with something that sounds like this. For phrase three, cover holes one to two with fingers one to two and blow gently once. Cover holes one to six with fingers one to six and blow a bit harder once. Cover holes one to four with fingers one to four and blow a bit harder once. Cover holes one to six with fingers one to six and blow a bit harder once. Cover holes one to four with fingers one to four and blow a bit harder once. Cover holes one to five with fingers one to five and blow a bit harder once. Cover holes one to two with fingers one to two and blow a bit harder once. And practice this until you end up with something that sounds like this. Phrase four, cover holes one to four with fingers one to four and blow a bit harder once.
Cover holes one to two with fingers one to two and blow a bit harder once. Cover holes one to four with fingers one to four and blow a bit harder once. Cover holes one to two with fingers one to two and blow a bit harder once. Cover holes one to four with fingers one to four and blow a bit harder once. Cover holes one to six with fingers one to six and blow a bit harder once. And practice this until you end up with something that sounds like this. For phrase five, cover holes one to two with fingers one to two and blow gently once. Cover hole one with finger one and blow gently once. Cover holes one to six with fingers one to six and blow a bit harder twice. Cover hole one with finger one and blow gently once. Cover holes one to two with fingers one to two and blow gently once. And break just this until you end up with something that sounds like this. For phrase six, cover holes one to two with fingers one to two and blow gently once. Cover holes one to six with fingers one to six and blow a bit harder once. Cover holes one to four with fingers one to four and blow a bit harder once. Cover holes one to six with fingers one to six and blow a bit harder once. Cover holes one to four with fingers one to four and blow a bit harder once. Cover holes one to five with fingers one to five and blow a bit harder once. Cover holes one to six with fingers one to six and blow a bit harder once. And break just this until you end up with something that sounds like this. Now try putting all the phrases together. And there you have it. Hi guys, just wanted to say a big thank you for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also don't forget I've got a store on Amazon, there's a link in the description below. Uh, if you're looking for a new instrument that would be a good place to start. Uh, also I've got links in the description to lots of other things like my Facebook account, my Instagram, my Twitter. I'd love to catch up with you guys there, so uh, until next time, stay tuned.